Moving into ophthalmology after finishing medical school was in part through the inspiration of the example of Fred Hollows. He showed how much could be done with so little. So I thought that was a fantastic thing in this world of high-tech medicine. And when I became a little bit settled, I thought, OK, it's time to give back. So I approached the Fred Hollows Foundation to see how I could help. And the best way it turned out would be to assist in the development of ophthalmology through the foundation in Vietnam. Our congenital cataracts. In 1992, when the Professor Holo first visited to Vietnam, he can see a lot of Vietnamese doctors want to learn about cataract surgery. And he decided to start in a plan to train in the doctor in Vietnam. Teach the teachers first. <laughs> and then the teachers can teach others. I was always interested in Vietnam. I was aware that South Australia had a large Vietnamese community. I particularly became aware of that working down at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital where signs are in English and Vietnamese. There's such a big, strong Vietnamese community around the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. I've always had a soft spot for Vietnam, rather like Eritrea, a heroic country, the sort of country where we think, given a bit of assistance, uh, it'll do things. Just being able to support the foundation and relishing in its, its and Dr. Fook's achievements both in Vietnam and now throughout Asia. So that's certainly been one of the career highlights.